Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's kind of funny because at the beginning of the year I was doing a lot of filming and making videos and not doing a lot of training. I felt like I was lacking on my training and then as we've gotten into the second half of the year I feel that I'm doing a lot of training, a lot of kind of behind the scenes work and not a lot of filming and that's why the videos have been few and far between. Let, uh, save the uh, you know the wetness over here that's been one of the difficulties the range has been closed a lot lately because of all the rain that we had but um, now that I have a good zero on my 6GT my custom 6GT getting ready for the Mammoth Sniper Challenge I want to set up the Impact 4000. I was at my house the other day and I kind of did the basics I did the calibration for the compass portion I was standing out in my driveway because they say not to do it inside and you go in a figure eight and then you rotate it and spin it and it's all on there it tells you what to do but uh, definitely calibrating and then you have to zero your laser to your optic so that's what we're going to do right now and then we're going to head over to the long range and do some practicing probably just do some ranging with a little bit of shooting um, i don't want to shoot too too much i really want to get familiar with the impact 4000 and the reticle and i don't want to rush things i want to do it the right way so without further ado uh, the impact 4000 is on i have to turn the laser on i've got the reflective tapes down there which you'll oversee right now and then we're going to turn the visible laser on and see if we can get it 1.54 inches above my zero. So we're in device alignment mode. The laser is engaged on the side. And then you can see how it shows up on that reflective tape down there. I just have to bring it over to the left and then it'll be over my zero by 1.54 inches thereabouts. And we should be good to go. So there we go. So you can see that laser is right above my zero. It's not on the reflective tape anymore. So that is pretty well zeroed. So we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna see if it will give us 100 yards or it was probably like 90, 93 or so. So it gives us our weather and the temperature and humidity and pressure. And then if we range it, 97.6 yards so i don't know if that's on the target or not might have been on the berm behind it but that's how it works and believe it or not it's pretty simple to set up it's kind of intimidating but once you get the hang of it that's how easy it is and i want to get the hang of it so that it is uh, second nature so we're going to head over to the long range and try it out some more all right now we're just messing around i ranged out to a mile, I would need uh, 47.85 mils. Well, that ain't gonna happen. So we're just gonna look at some closer targets. So we're gonna go for three. Oh, and it shut off from inactivity. So we're gonna have, we're gonna go for some closer targets. We're just practicing range. So 300, 302. Uh, this one, is I don't know how far but now I do 400 uh, 800 target out there 796 uh, 602 the 700 target 698 200 up 0.42 uh, this one's gonna be like 1100 yards 1095 and then 1200 yards 1199 so it tells me 20.58 and right 4.83 based on the weather because the weather is it's 10 miles an hour from the northwest so and it's 96 degrees, 61% humidity, 29.97. So, pretty cool stuff. Now, not every shot is gonna be super far, so let's try, we'll try 400 and 600. Now, you know what? Let's try 300 and 400. Ooh. 
Two hits, so then I said 400. That's 400. So it's 400. 2.14. See the splashes. All right, so I had two hits on a three hundred. That's why we're here. We're here to practice. So, got some hits on the 300, didn't get any hits on the 400. That's why we're here. I forgot to do an outro at the range, but the Impact 4000 is going to work as advertised. It is going to decrease the amount of time I have from finding my target to engaging the target and then moving on to the next target and engaging and so on and so on. What I was having to do, and I've said this in other Mammoth videos, is my partner and I would shoot our pistol if it was a pistol stage. We would put them in the buckets, and then we would go get into our rifle shooting position. From there, we would have to find and range the target. You'd have to look at your dope card, get your elevation change, adjust your turret if you weren't holding over, and then find your target again in the optic and engage, and then do it all over again for the second target. But with the Impact 4000, you find your target in the optic, you hit the button, which the button's not gonna stay there. Um, I don't like it on the right side. I'm going, I wanna put it, ultimately I wanna put it on the stock because that's where my left hand is gonna be, but I don't know how that's gonna work. But I don't think it's gonna stay over on the right side. And um, you hit the button, you look at your elevation change, and then with the tremor reticle, I'm just going to adjust the reticle to hold over and then I can engage the three shots and then rinse and repeat. And it's going to decrease so much time wasted finding and ranging my targets. So it really is a speed competition, but you have to be accurate and precise. And uh, I wasted a lot of time when I competed in April. Granted, that was my first long range competition, my first competition of any sorts like that. And it was big learning experience. And in the time since then, I've learned exponentially with how to shoot long range, but I need to get better. So I'm, uh, I think four, three, we're September, it's early September, so uh, October, November, December, January. So we're four months away from the, the Mammoth Sniper Challenge up in Virginia. It is gonna be a beast because it's gonna be cold, but I've got four months to practice compared with learning my reticle about two weeks beforehand the last time. So I got plenty of time to practice. I got a hundred more rounds of that 6GT and uh, we're just gonna keep on practicing. But the Impact 4000, it is intimidating, but it really is easy once you get the hang of it and uh, practicing, I'm really gonna get the hang of it. So the Impact 4000, if you can get it, get it, it'll make your life easier. Um, you can adjust your turret and you don't have to hold over, but um, you have to remember to go back to zero in between each shot. Otherwise, your zero is gonna be off of the target so that means your laser is going to be off of the target. So that's why I am choosing to hold over. So that's going to do it for this one. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.